All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, so there's gonna come a time where you're gonna have to come up to the 1 8 inch pipe, all right? And you're gonna need, go ahead and put the tools down. You're gonna need to uh, cut the pipe. Now look, the pipe, the tubing cutter, there are some tubing cutters that will cut 1 8 inch pipe, all right? These don't, it's just too small. It's back between the two split groove rollers too much. Plus, when you cut it with a tubing cutter, what do you notice about the inside of the pipe once it's done with the cut? Yes, sir. Uh, the, the wall thickness gets really thick, which reduces the diameter of the pipe. Now look, this is so small, we can't reduce this diameter of the pipe anymore. Anybody know what they call the small blood vessels throughout your body? The small ones, the really tiny ones. They call them something. No? Capillaries. Capillaries, all right? Capillary, this is a cap tube, capillary tube, because this is the smallest of all the tubes. So what you're going to do is, you're going to, I would leave it to stick first. You're going to set it up. You're going to need a small block like that one right there. Let me see that block. This is the only one that has the 1 8 inch. Obviously, this one doesn't have it, but the larger one, too, it looks like it has smaller sizes, but this one, the smallest is 3 16. So you want to set this up in the block like that, and it's going to be flush. The other ones you're using the coins. Remember, it's a dime for the quarter inch, right? And then it's going to be a penny for the 3 8 So the quarter is going to be a dime high. That's going to be a penny, and then half inch and above is gonna be a nickel, okay? So when I cut it, I'm gonna show you something special, but let me just show you how to flare this first. Make sure it's flush, nice and even, and then you're gonna need the yoke. And the yoke on previous ones would center itself, would center itself, okay? You're not gonna to have to, uh, you're gonna to have to center this your own. You're gonna to have to line it up yourself. You're not gonna be able to have it center itself. So you gotta line it up there. And then if it slips out, it'll squish the flare only on one side. So you want to make sure that it is exactly lined up to the hole so the needle of the yoke is in there. And then make sure both sides are locked in and just keep squeezing it down. If it's too high, it'll split the end of the flare. So that right there is perfect. Okay, but this end was already pre-cut, so I didn't have to do anything to cut it. When, you, when I show you how to cut this cap tube, all right, so now that's it. That's the flare. It's the smallest. And when you flare it and put it in the bottom, this one won't fit. But when you flare the other end and put it in the bottom of the quarter, it shouldn't fall through. It should stay right in with the tree. Now, you go ahead and you're going to measure the two and a half inches for the diameter, and then you're going to need to cut it off. And when you cut it, we can't use the tubing cutter. You're going to use this pair of strippers, really. So measure it. I'm going to cut just an inch off or so. This won't cut it. This is going to score the pipe. And you just roll it around like that. They actually make a cap tube cutter. You could also use a pair of Klein wire strippers, but the jaws don't line up. They're a little off, which messes up right when you score. It messes up the score. So that's that. Now you can go ahead and take a pair of needle nose. Don't squeeze down on the needle nose or you will crush the copper. All we need to do is to lightly hold it with the two needle nose and then wiggle it back and forth a little bit. When you wiggle it back and forth, the score will allow the cut to come out if you scored it enough and then once you wiggle it back and forth that's it this piece is done and now we got to go through and you got to put it back up in the block so if you got a piece that's not cut well or let's say they pinched it too hard the end they squeezed it on you you're not gonna be able to flare that so you're gonna have to come back you're gonna have to score the pipe Sometimes you can do it with your hand. Just snap it right there with your nail back and forth, and boom, it comes right off. So you don't even need the needle nose all the time. But some of you, with your hands, you might want to use the tool instead. But look at that. It's not even all the way around. we got to even that up. So the best way to even it up is to line it back up in the glare block so it's just sticking up a little bit. Right like that. Okay, almost like you're using the coin again. And then we're going to lock it in. And I'm going to use a flat file, single cut, which means it's only going to file on the forward stroke. And you got to try and keep it parallel, right, to the block. In other words, if you just do one side and you, and you file it down till it's even. And that, that's how we're going to deburr this one. Now, if I was doing this in the unit and this was connected to a unit, I would try and do it upside down. Why do you think I would try and do it upside down? So the little metal flakes do not fall in. That's right, because there's a part later on down the line called a metering device. It's a tiny hole. These little flakes could clog up that tiny hole. Now, they're supposed to be a screen, but the screen, we don't want anything getting in that either. So we'll go ahead and set it up again. Once you get the height, then it filed down. You can squeeze it down, and that's it.
I got another flare. Now, if it was too high, let me see if I can split it. Show you what a split looks like. If it's too high or you squeeze down too much on the pipe and you're not really paying attention, actually, that looks like a really good flare. Let me raise it up a little bit. That's a really nice flare right there, huh? Look at that one there. I'm gonna raise it up a little higher, higher than normal. Let's say you didn't make it flush. You stuck it up like a penny or a nickel high and you come back with the yoke and you keep trying to squeeze it down. I'll try and get a split. It should split if it's too high, which you cannot use that one now, all right? So that's a split. See that? It looks like a chunk of pie is missing out of my copper tubing flare. So that split right there is bad. That's too high. So I had one that was maybe a little too light, and I had one that was just right, right in the middle, and now that's too much, and we've split it. So now what do you got to do if you split it? That's why you're leaving it here. I don't want you to cut a two and a half inch piece and then keep wasting a two and a half inch piece. Go ahead and try and flare on the long stick first, and if it doesn't work out, score it. You can, I can use my hands, I can just use one or two, but it should snap right off, and then put it back in and file it back down till it's just about even. Just about even. So there we go again, setting it back up. Flat file, make it parallel with the block, get it down, all right? And then if you need to make some adjustments before you start the flare, make your adjustments. And flare it again. And that's it, that's perfect. All right, any questions on how to flare the one eighth inch cap too? All right, once you get this done, measure your two and a half inch, straighten it out as best you can with your fingers. Now this one, you can really work with it good, but that's the last one. Once you're done, put your initials on all your pieces, okay? And if it's done right, it should not fall through on this one here. In other words, when you fit it in, it should fit right into the quarter inch. And then as you push them up, they should all go up by about a quarter of an inch as the height.